How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we are taking down the new Saiyan Day Easy A for the LR Beerus and Whis. I've put together a few teams on the effective category that I think should be able to help you guys out. I tried to take into account many people's boxes and kind of created a few teams that I think should work if you didn't have a team full of LRs. After all, this is an LR Easy A, which means not only do you need characters on the effective category, which is legendary existence this time around, you also need LR characters with the link skill legendary power. More often than not, legendary um, LR easy A's don't require type uh, necessities, but I mean, obviously you do want to kind of prioritize effective types so since they are in SCR we will try to prioritize AGL where we can so let's just go ahead let's take a look at a few of the teams that I have set up here there aren't many because it's kind of short compared to some of the others but I've got a few right so we've got the first team up here uh with the LR Goku from the worldwide download celebration two years ago since he does in fact lead the legendary existence category so we'll probably end up using him as sort of our finisher since it is a team full of LRs on the category um, for the second team if you happen to have pulled the god Goku and um, you could run a team with him you don't necessarily have to have a full team of LRs as long as you've got at least two main rotations which is what we've got set up here um, basically with this second team is we'll run the this Goku and this Gohan even though he's not on the effective category he is an AGL type so he should do more than fine because he has guard and then the two UI Gokus on a rotation together and then got another team here if for whatever reason you didn't have the new god goku you didn't have the namek goku you could actually run this guy as your lead if you got him and then run or any other pure saiyans lead for that matter but him specifically being an lr and then you can run a rotation of him and the gohan and then the agl ui and then a friend int uh, Goku and then finally we have a full AGL LR team I don't know if this team will work uh, we're gonna test it out it was the best one I could come up with to encompass the as many AGL LRs as I could um, so Kamehameha led by the Gohan um, with a few characters not on the category specifically this guy and uh, these guys these guys are there if for whatever reason you manage to make it to turn five at least then Gohan can transform and them being LR uh, they can at least dish out some damage but I don't know if it'll actually work or not uh, we'll see um, worst case scenario you could throw like Hachan or something on there he's well, without a Kid Goku, probably not going to work that well, but uh, we'll test it out. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's hop in. We're going to use uh, this team first um, since it's the earlier stages. So let's go ahead. Let's set a friend int Goku here and let's jump on into stage one. All right. So um, I tried to build this team around, you know, basically thinking, uh, you might not have all the characters you need, uh, to build a team strong enough to take him down, right? You may not have a team full of LRs, so I tried to pick units that I think can defend. The Bardock here, well, not the greatest, can stack defense, who can help. The Int UI Goku, if you happen to have him, can give you a quick stall if you need it. We are taking a super turn one. With the Goku, and he's not going to do that much damage here since uh, we don't have Legendary Power active, but yeah, see, not a whole lot of damage, even though that this is a Rainbow Friend. But as I was saying, the Int UI will give you kind of a free turn of dodge if you end up needing it, so we'll, we'll see how this works out. We do have that Gohan in slot 7, though, so he'll roll around this turn, and then the next time that Goku's on, we'll be able to attack with him. All right. So as long as you're using characters on the effective category, they can at least defend, right? So you don't have to worry too much about them taking damage. Maybe a super in the later phases, but they can at least defend, which is the important thing. So let's go ahead and let's grab this. We can put AGL UI in front. Um, we're going to grab that because I think it'll drop these oh no it absolutely did not drop the way we wanted to but that's okay I think between AGL UI and int god Goku we should actually finish this there we go UI getting that dodge in
Alright, so you can really see the difference there between having legendary power and not having it, right? Int God Goku, who we know is really, really good, didn't do any damage there on that first turn without the legendary power. So you do want to make sure you prioritize that. So we're going to come back at uh, stage 5 with the next team. So we'll see you guys then. Okay, we are back back and uh we are on stage five here we're going to be using our full lr agl team with lr gohan as the lead um mostly because he does give all of the kamehameha units 180 percent instead of uh 170 like some of the other uh leaders we could be running but also because as we know he's a guy, he's a beast so the basic strategy here is kill Beerus before he can kill us. So let's right, see let's if this. Uh, this works out. I honestly don't know if it will or not. I'm not sure how much damage we're actually going to take here. Ooh, this might... Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um... Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so... As long as they launch their additional super, they should be okay. UI Goku is going to get his... Uh, assuming he dodges. Um, really? <laughs> he decided not to dodge. Really? Okay, well, at least these guys get a super. We'll get a little bit of defense here. Hopefully he doesn't super them. I had to open my big mouth. Okay, well, we might be dead here. Just barely alive. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how much Krillin and Gohan are going to do here. Um, quite a bit, actually. Ooh, nice. There goes that dodge. Love it. And another dodge. Perfect. So we actually survived to this turn. Um, I don't... Unless he's super slot one, I don't think he can kill Gohan. So let's do that number. Let's do that number with the Goku. And let's grab those with the Gohan. There it is. Okay, so now all we need is a crit or an additional. I think we're solid. And he decides this is the turn. He's not going to do it. <laughs> okay. And there goes the super. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to reload into this. So, running the full AGL team, it looks like it can be done, but uh, you just need a little bit better RNG than what we got here. So, let's try it one let's more time. Alright, so this will be a little bit better. I can live with this, so... Let's grab that. Hopefully, we actually dodge this time. Um, and we can actually proc what we need to proc here all right and then let's get that with the krillin and gohan there we go okay now we get the 18 key and with the 18 key we ought to be able to launch an additional hopefully we will have a crit after this that's for sure there we go nope no additional okay so never mind that we've got full additionals on this guy can we at least dodge the super yeah okay good job ui all right, so unfortunately we won't get the, the big defense raise here on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, but at least we still do a lot of damage here. We don't take too much in return. That's good. Krillin and Gohan, hopefully, I mean, without the 18 key, they're not going to do as much damage. But we do enough to take him out, right? So like I said, a little bit better RNG than we had it the first round. So it can be done with a full AGL team if you don't have that many legendary existence characters. So we're going to come back at uh, stage 7 with one last setup before we do our final run. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back on stage 7. This is where the rubber sort of hits the road, right? If you can clear this stage, you can probably clear any of the previous stages, right? Or the forthcoming stages, right? So, the team we're going to use here, if you happen to have pulled the God Goku, um, and you don't have an LR int God Goku of your own, you can run this setup, right? Um, because it is pure or hybrid sands, um, the leader skill for the... For both of them, uh, this actually kind of works, right? And a few of the characters are on the God Goku's 200% skill. So we do have mostly LRs. We did fill in the final slot with just one 
tech character that's on the or not tech but agl character bardock who's on legendary existence so at least he can absorb some hits so this should work the basic strategy is dodge who needs to dodge and hit back with agl ui or int um namek goku since he can launch multiple supers for us so let's go ahead let's do this i do recommend running the lr friend instead of another fizz god goku simply because that would give you one more legendary power character right which like here right had we run a fizz god friend that would have been a god for that would have been the fizz god friend right here and we wouldn't have had legendary power active so it's actually hugely beneficial to us so let's go ahead and grab that and i'm fairly certain that this uh this rotational and unless something really bad happens with hl ui i'm fairly certain this rotation alone should finish the job on here on stage seven there we go ui gets his additional super nice we get a third normal that could have been a super but decided not to be all right all right, so how much does the friend do? This is a rainbow friend, easy A god Goku. Not bad with a crit, would have been a little bit better. All right, so no crits on the people that needed it, but, and of course, Bardock, the guy that I didn't pick up enough key for, <laughs> or decides to take a super. All right, but okay, at least he doesn't do too much. Nice, so again, you can see how useful it is making sure you're on the right category. So we're gonna go ahead and do this number so we can make sure we have, yeah, let's just do that. Um, so we can make sure we have legendary power active. We'll grab that with the God Goku and we are solid. Look at that, nothing. And now we're gonna hit back with at least two super attacks on the Namek Goku here. And there we go. With the crit, we do finish him off. Excellent. So there is stage seven. Like I said, tried to come up with a little bit different setup there. Hopefully it worked out. Um, and we will come back at stage 10 with our final full LR team with the Int Namek Goku. Or not Namek Goku, the God Goku. So we'll see you guys then. All right. We are back on stage 10. I think I said... Uh, coming back with Int uh, God Goku earlier, but uh, I actually meant, well, not earlier. Uh, earlier for me, like two seconds for you guys, but I said Int uh, God Goku, but I did mean Namek Goku. I was right the first time because he does lead legendary existence. That's why we're running him on this final stage here. So if you got this guy, you got the LRs, you may as well use them. It'll make your life that much easier. So we're running a bunch of UI Gokus, the Int God Goku EZA, LR Broly, and Hit in God right. Goku. Let's so let's see how this goes. LR hit would actually be kind of nice here if we could have one. Wonder when that's going to happen. All right, so let's see here. All right, let's do this number. All right, let's grab that. Let's grab that. All right, and boom, let Hit and God Goku take the floor in slot three because that's where they work. All right, excellent. Well, really, they can work in any slot. Not so good slot one, but two or three, they are phenomenal. They deal a lot of damage. Excellent, God Goku gets the dodge. Um, hopefully UI can pick up an extra super here. There it is. Excellent. So we do get the extra super. Um, and now, if we're lucky, we might pick up the hidden potential super since we do have ind additionals in them. We do not. That's all right. At least we're dodging. That's all that matters. Excellent. And now hit and God Goku. Woo! Look at that. I forgot how powerful these guys were. This is still on a 170, mind you. Excellent. I think I have these guys at 90%. It's been a while since I've used them. All right, excellent. So not quite what we wanted, but I was hoping to finish them in the one turn, but we could do it here. Namek Goku getting his additional super should be 
more than enough to finish things off here. Alright, well at least that wasn't a super, because with him taking that much damage slot 1, that would have actually done a lot. Okay, name it Goku, this is how it's gonna be, I see. There it is. And we pick up the hidden potential. Excellent. So we do finish it <laughs> uh, with Namek Goku. We almost didn't there, though. Boom. And it is done. You'll love to see it. So there you have it, folks. There is the LREZA for the STR, Beerus, and Whis. So let's go ahead. Let's head over to our teams here. I don't think they're on, they're not on Legendary Existence, right? So we're going to have to sort by, let's go Realm of Gods and Siblings Bond, and we should find them. Where are they? There they are. So let's go ahead and awaken these bad boys. And there it is. Excellent. So we have Easy Aid, the SCR Beerus, and we just can't wait to test these guys out. This uh, has been the bane of my existence. I have pulled them way more times. Anytime I've pulled on a yellow Koi Banner, these guys have shown up somehow, some way. So it's nice to have them finally Easy Aid. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the showcase when it comes out. And if you guys liked the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me no uh what it what teams did you use to take down this lr easy a wasn't as bad as some of the others but legendary existence is still a very small category so i'm curious what other teams you guys managed to come up with would love to hear them in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha